hello everyone thank you so much for stopping by happy independence day to all my Ghanaians on this channel what is ghana without your love i know right we are known for our best jollof rice and today we are making the quick one the quickest jollof i've ever made let's get started in a pot i'm adding my vegetable oil um you could use any oil of your choice I let it heat up for about one to two minutes and I'm adding my tolo beef, also known as cured beef. Um, it has some aroma to it. I've used it in some of my videos, yeah, but you don't have to use it if you don't like because it's really salty. So for it to cook through, I just want to cover it and let it cook for about two to three minutes. After three minutes under medium heat, this is how it's looking. It fried a little bit and that is perfect. I'm not going to be adding my sliced onions. After adding my onions, I give this a stir and this is going to cook for about 1 to 2 minutes. And this is what I'm going to be using today. The Tasty Tom Jollof Mix. It's basically tomato paste, um, some peppers, some spices. Everything is like mixed together. All you need is this and that's it. You don't need extra tomatoes, extra pepper. That's everything that's in there. Um, just put it in your oil, let it fry out your rice, and your jollof is ready. The instructions and everything is on the pack. This is not sponsored. I just saw this in the store and I've seen a lot of videos about it. So I'm like, let me just give it a try to see how it tastes. And it was kind of easy to make. Like if you're struggling to make jollof rice or you really don't feel like um cooking jollof rice especially blending the tomatoes and everything this is a quick one this is like a quick jollof um to make of course you could also add any meat of your choice you could use chicken anything that you prefer and you could also do without the meat and it is okay too and i'm adding my shrimp tablet um use any seasoning of your choice i also added some curry powder that you're gonna be seeing in a minute so after adding my jollof mix um, into the oil, I let it fry for about 7 to 10 minutes. It's not a lot. This is a little um, jollof that I was making. And yeah, I added my curry powder, add any season that you prefer, and that's it. At this point, I'm going to let it cook for additional 2 minutes, and I'm going to be adding my rice to it. So this mix is basically like the base of your jollof rice, you know. Um, to make jollof rice, you need your tomatoes, your tomato paste, you need all other stuff. But this is like everything mixed in a pack and all you need is your oil, your um, onions and um, that's it. So it's like the base of your jollof rice. You don't need to blend anything. Everything is like in the pack. All you need is your rice, your oil and your onions. And I'm adding water to it. The water is to your preference. It depends on what kind of rice you're using. And I'm using jasmine rice. You know jasmine rice do not take a lot of water. If you're using long grain or any other rice, you might need a little bit more. But if you're not sure, always add a little bit. And uh, if you need more later on, then you could add. But remember, if you add too much, you cannot take it away. And your rice is going to be mushy. And I'm adding my salt to taste. After adding the salt, I stirred it and I'm going to cover this and let this cook for about 10 minutes under medium-low heat. And this is how it's looking after 10 minutes. So I give this a stir and as you can see, it's not done. There's still moisture in it. So I'm going to cover this with aluminum foil uh, for the heat to cook through it. After covering the rice with the aluminum foil, um, I lower the heat to low, yeah, just for the heat to cook through. You don't want to burn your rice. After 10 additional minutes, my rice is ready. My jollof rice is ready. If you ask me, uh, will I cook the jollof rice again? Yes. But it's not going to be like my daily jollof rice because I have the way I make my jollof rice. This will be the day that I don't feel like um, doing a lot and I'll just cook the jollof rice because I just want jollof rice to eat. 
So yeah, if you're a bachelor or you don't feel like cooking jollof fries or you don't know how to make jollof fries, this is the easier way to go. Just pick this up, get your oil, get your onions, any meat of your choice. You could use fish and trust me, you will gonna love it. And I served this um, jollof rice with uh, fried eggs. Yes, it was good. If you've not eaten jollof rice with um, some fried eggs or like some omelets, trust me, give it a try. You will love it. This was like a quick recipe and like, let me just add things together. And I loved it. Really, really good. And it was worth it. Alright family, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. I hope you give this recipe a try and I know you will love it. Happy Independence Day once again to all my Ghanaians on this channel. Until I come your way next time, this is Cook with Naki. Be good to yourself, be good to everybody. It goes a long way.